Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, before I start with today's topic, I just want to say that I'm sorry it took so long for me to upload something new again. Um, I've been really busy in the recent weeks to record a new album with my trio. <laughs> It's been really exciting to record again, but it also took a lot of time to prepare. But I'm back now and really excited to share a new video with you guys. Today I'm going to talk about how I overcame my completely tense saxophone amateur. So first of all, if you're new to playing the saxophone, you might wonder what is actually a saxophone amateur? Um, to put it simply, a saxophone amateur can be described as the way you hold the mouthpiece in your mouth. An intense amateur can really greatly affect your playing. It can make it difficult to play with a good intonation, to produce soft notes and to get a full sound. Also, in the worst case, it can cause pain and discomfort. For a long time, I struggled with a completely tense amateur myself. I still remember a period of time where I was just about to begin my studies at the conservatory. My amateur was so tense that I had massive intonation problems in the higher registers and that my tone was even shaking when I was holding longer notes. But through a lot of practice and a variety of exercises, I was able to overcome that. And today I'm able to play with a completely loose amateur, only using some tension to create certain sound colors. Having a really loose amateur also has the great effect that I virtually never get tired when playing, even when I play a really long piece with a lot of long notes in it. Since I know from my teaching experience that there are a lot of people that struggle with a tense amateur, today I want to share three exercises with you that helped myself a lot and also a lot of my students to develop a relaxed amateur. This exercise helped me a lot to gain control of the muscles that are connected with the mouthpiece. Let's take for example a middle C. Hold this note and try to relax your amateur so much that air is coming out of the corners of your mouth. Of course you're not supposed to play like this in the end. But what you practice here is to go into the other extreme as opposed to a really tense amateur. And this can really help you to break out of your habits. Once you've done this for a little bit, go back, play a normal C again and see how relaxed you can keep your amateur while playing. This exercise doesn't come from me, but from the amazing book by Dave Liebman called Developing a Personal Saxophone Sound. If you don't know the book, I would highly recommend to you checking it out. It contains a wealth of really insightful advice from one of the greatest saxophone educators ever. The exercise goes like this. You take a group of notes that you can play using only your left hand. So for example, G to C. Then you take the index finger and the middle finger of your right hand and pull down the corners of your mouth while playing these notes slowly. After you did this for a little bit, try it without your fingers and see if there is any difference. If you do this exercise consistently over a few weeks or months, you are most likely to experience quite a change in your amateur. I'm not entirely sure if this story is true or not, but I heard that in the beginning of the history of the saxophone, there were quite a few players who didn't play the saxophone in the way it's played today, but instead the mouthpiece was turned around, so the reed was facing up, just like that. If you happen to know if the story is true or not, let me know in the comments, I would be really curious about that. Anyway, this is exactly one of the exercises I did to develop a more relaxed amateur. Of course, when you try to play like this, you should make sure that your upper teeth are covered by your upper lip, so the teeth don't directly touch the reed. You might need a little bit of practice to get used to it, but I guarantee it's worth the effort. 
Once you played a few phrases like this, just switch back to the regular setup and see if you feel any kind of difference. Once again, it's about breaking up your habits so you make room for new habits to form. So there you have it guys. These are some of the exercises that I used to overcome my completely tense ambiture. It wasn't easy and it took a lot of practice and patience, but it was for sure worth it. If you're struggling with a tense ambiture yourself, I hope that these exercises will help you along the way. I would be really happy if you would let me know in the comments about any progress you made and maybe you also know some other exercises that can help to develop a more relaxed temperature. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to click the like button and if you want to stay tuned to future content on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.